annexation out of the city limits back into the unincorporated area um, by Chris Kane. Subject property is currently zoned R10 in the city. It is located at the southeast corner of South Haven Bridge Road and the entrance drive to Hay Hire Elementary School. Um, you see the residential zoning pattern reflected on the map on the screen and in your packet. Character area pattern also established residential in this area. Um, suburban area as you go eastward into the more unincorporated area of the county. Aerial imagery, you see the development pattern. It is almost all residential, mostly in the form of single family homes along the west side of South Haven Bridge. Um, directly to the north, on the other side of that entrance drive is apartments, I think you call it Aiken Bridge duplexes. Um, and then, of course, the school traffic is a dominant feature. This is a um, two, one of two parcels that the applicant owns. Um, what you see on the map is the parcel on the west side, which is in the city limits. That green dashed line is the city limit line. Um, the applicant also owns a landlocked parcel that's immediately to the east of it that is currently in Lowndes County Unincorporated, and it is under R21. Um, survey, your packet gives more details about the boundary. Um, it is over 1.5 acres in size. Subject property looks like this from Hagen Bridge Road. The applicant has, I think, been busy clearing some of the underbrush, um, doing what some call like a plantation cut, but a good clearing job with the property. This is zooming back eastward from Hagen Bridge, looking into the backyard areas of it. Adjacent properties, this is the entrance drive into Hay Hire Elementary. You see those apartments there on the left. Um, to the south of the subject property is a developing subdivision. You may recall a very contentious public hearing about the annexation and rezoning of this. Uh, currently under construction, um, including the roads and other infrastructure. And then this is the view along Hagen Bridge. This is from south of the subject property looking northward. And what you see is mainly the west side of Hagen Bridge. Um, some of the homes that are there along the west side. And these are the two houses that are directly across from the subject property. Um, the applicant has um, some ideas of what he wants to do with the property that are not allowed in Hay Hire residential zoning. They're more agricultural related which Hay Hire has no agricultural zoning. So in order to seek that type of zoning for the property, that is his main motivation to de-annex and hopefully get agricultural type zoning in the county. As we talked about in the work session, this is the first de-annexation request that I'm aware of ever for the city of Hay Hire. We have had a few from Valdosta over the years, but in Hay Hire, this one is a first. Um, it is sort of like annexation in reverse but some of the same requirements. Uh, with annexation, it is done voluntarily, where a property owner voluntarily asks to be annexed into a city. Um, they submit an application form to, to the city. The city is then required by state law to notify Lowndes County that starts a 30-day clock for the county's review, um, if they have any comments or wish to raise an objection. And then the final decision rests with the city. De-annexation generally starts with a consent resolution from the county. Whereas before we can approve or really consider de-annexation, the county must agree by resolution to accept the property back into the unincorporated area. Um, that has been done. A copy of that resolution is in your packet. Um, but what's interesting is the de-annexation request, that final decision rests also with the city council. And so they kind of consider in many ways the same rationale as an annexation, but they examine the impacts that are potential if the property should be annexed. Because it is adjacent to the unincorporated area, it is eligible for the annexation, um, and that's why the request has been submitted and gotten this far. So with all of that, um, staff's concern is mainly future use of the property. The pattern around there is very definitely residential particularly dominated by single-family residential. That is the zoning on the property. Um, staff believes that is the correct land use category for the property. If it is to be developed, um, utilizing water and sewer services, the only provider of that in the area is the city of Hayhara. Hayhara requires those things to be done for property in the city limits. Therefore, in staff's opinion, this property should remain in the city limits, zoned R10, or at least something similar to R10. 
Um, so with that, staff is finding this inconsistent with the comprehensive plan, um, and we're recommending denial of the de-annexation request. Do I answer your question? R15. The property is one and a half acres. Um, under either of those zones, it could be subdivided into two lots based on frontage on Hagen Bridge Road, but that would be the only limiting factor. The entrance drive to the elementary school is not a public road, so that does not count toward frontage. Um, but for a single family home site on a good sized lot, certainly an appropriate thing for that area. Even as two lots, a little bit awkward, pretty long and deep. But it's certainly in the realm of possibility, and none of those would require public hearing. And if I remember correctly, the subdivision that's going in there, we put a condition where those driveways will not empty up onto Hagen Bridge Road. Is that correct? correct? We were concerned about, about the, the number traffic. of lots and the traffic that's volume. Right. Yeah. I'm very concerned. Um, what is interesting to note is the south boundary of this property um, is a drainage way that's been classified as a state water. Uh, which is why the developer of that subdivision, who had originally considered this property also, uh, abandoned that idea because of mm -hmm. the waterway running through mm -hmm. and it interfered with his subdivision design. Yeah. And so this in some ways is a leftover piece of property. One other thing to consider, um, and I think I touched on this in the cover page, is when you annex property into a city, so you cannot create an unincorporated island means you cannot annex something right. or cut it something off. Changed. Because of how the geography is here, mm -hmm. if this were to go back into the county, mm -hmm. then everything east of it, between the elementary school and that new subdivision, also has to stay in the county. Because to annex that and close the gap, this property would become an island. And so that was another consideration as well. Okay. Matt, um, is this property basically surrounding the city? Yes. So that could map. Except for the, 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 the green east. line is the city limit line, so everything to the left, above, and below is city. Everything there you see in yellow is city limits, plus the pink of the school. Everything that's in beige is county. And it's on the eastern edge of the city. Um, it's just dominated by residential development in the city limits. Well, these two lots are not under any condition. It's the R10 that is just R10. Yeah. So it's whatever R10 would allow. Yeah. Uh, which which in Kari is minimum lot width of 80 feet. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's more than 160 feet of frontage. 230. Yeah. So not quite enough for three, but almost. explain that in a lot better detail than I can. I've had several conversations with them. Um, some innovative ideas, I think, for agriculture, but it is truly agricultural related. The question really is magnitude and whether it is subsistence type farming versus commercial production. And I think we're kind of in between. And I'll let the applicant elaborate on that. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? All right, we'll open it up to the public. Is there anyone tonight wishing to speak uh, on behalf of this request? If you'll come forward with your name and address, please. Hey, hey how's it going? Uh, Christopher King, uh, property owner of 501 South in Ridge Road, uh, secondary primary address, so he's all our wishes. Um, yeah, I'm up. I'm the guy asking the hand. So yeah, uh, I'll open up for questions if you have any. Um, so tell us about what your intentions are if you were to get the de-annexation. <clears throat> uh, basically, the de-annexation, uh, I can't quite do what I would like to do on the property unless it's a uh, residential agriculture, uh, specifically meaning um, having any kind of goats or, you know, uh, sheep, chickens, things of that nature. Okay. Uh, see if they hire a lot of them as pets. Uh, but more or less a hobby farm, kind of like 
Restricted when it comes to the park with the, the city park being separate. Uh, when it comes to permitting, if I try to develop in the county section, uh, it could be difficult to get any address. Um, but yeah, when it comes to utilities, sewer, and water, I understand that the county and the city have a uh, mutual agreement. I'm not trying to do a separate thing. Well, I'll, I'll pay my utilities to the city to help with the, whatever money making that. What's the other parcel that you own? Is it right behind there? It's the R21 piece okay. that you see to the east. Okay. It's just a little bit bigger than this one. So you don't feel like that the other parcel is big enough for you to do your hobby farm? Well, then I'm still restricted because uh, uh, Mr. Martin is correct. The north of me, uh, which is uh, the school entrance road, mm -hmm. is a private drive. Um, now, through the previous deed action, originally that was part of the larger parcel. Uh, manifest that we took that for the school, mm -hmm. uh, and there is an easement agreement. Um, but you could give yourself an easement agreement. Yes, yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. I can access my property in the back. Um, that's this is the stand up here for right now. When I talk to the school, they didn't necessarily think so, and that's a conversation for the future. Uh, for right now, I can, I mean, that was my track. I don't want to drive it from the street and make it through the problem. What? Are you? Are you going to rezone the R20? Come on, rezone R21 also? Yes, sir. You are? Uh, well, so, and that's the talk. Um, so, the county does have residential agriculture mm -hmm. zone. Because yeah, you ain't got enough acreage on that R10 right there. Right. So, it doesn't be able to do. But the two together would be enough yes, acreage right. to be on the standards but for R8. The annexation is required first. Okay. Have you talked to the mayor and council of Hayhira, do you know what their thoughts are? No, ma'am, I not. Uh, I work full time on base and they got a second job. Okay. They got something, so. Okay. Can I ask, when did you acquire this property? I acquired it, uh, what was that about March of 22? March of this, this year. year. Of this year. Yes, like seven months ago. Yeah. And, and you bought it knowing it was R10 and you want to get it in the attic? Yes, sir. I don't understand it hasn't been done before, but it doesn't mean you can't do it first. <laughs> it's always known you know what I mean. So, uh -huh. That's true. There was a delay, I had to leave for work when I came back. So. That's very true. That's very true. Okay. All right. Any questions? No. Matt or JD, this parcel to the west, that is RA, to the west of the R21. To the east? To the east. That's all R21. Yeah. All of that is R21 also. You have to go a little bit further east before you get into agricultural zone. Yeah. So if he got it DNX, then he'd have to go to the county to have the zone changed on that. For what he wants to do, he's caught between a rock and a hard place. Mm -hmm. um, he hire a hard portion is R10, does not allow agricultural use. He hire has no agricultural zoning to request. The county has agricultural zoning to request, 
but currently the county portion is single family residential. So uh, further restrictions I have on the property is when it comes to development, uh, I'll be building myself on the slot. Uh, so with the city zoning, I have to build a large home first, the main home, and then I could have a secondary uh, mother in law for it. I don't plan on having multifamily to be my for my parents when they retire. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Kenny. All right. Is there anyone else here tonight who would like to speak on behalf of this request? Is there anyone who would like to speak against this request? Um, as far as I know, uh, there has been no vote by the county commission to accept this into the county. I go to all of those meetings, I video all those meetings, if that vote happens sometime, mm -hmm. I it, sure it has don't not. know about it. I think Matt can clarify that, but the, DNX, the, the DNXation request has to come first. Is that not correct, Matt? All right. The resolution approved by the Lowndes County Commission was right. at their last meeting. Correct. Okay. And it was not to... No, it was added by the chairman. Okay. Um, if Dr. Aker's property were annexed in that would leave this as a island, um, thus preventing, blocking Dr. Aker from developing his property, not good. And I drive on that little driveway, which used to be last year, it was one way, it was in and out on the same driveway. This year it's two lanes in on that driveway. So if if Mr. King thought he, he was gonna have any access on that driveway, he can only go into the school on that driveway. You can't come out on that driveway anymore. Um, it's an inward only. So his backwards piece of property, the R21, he doesn't have any road access. That's currently a landmark piece of property. And that's private property as well. That belongs to the school and yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and it's gated. I mean yeah. that gate is locked. Right. So I see that this is not the right piece of property to be having a little boat farm on. I'm, I'm sympathetic to that, you know, the people buying a piece of property and want to be able to do what you want to do on it, uh, but not this location. Thank you. Thank you. All right, is there anyone else here tonight who wishes to speak against this request? All right, there being none, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners. Any other questions? Discussion? All right, if not, I will call for a motion. By someone. Is that true? Yes, Commissioner Mills. Um, it looks to me like we've got too many obstacles here, and also, you know, it, it could become a, an isolated island, very, very possible. So, um, I'll make a motion that we recommend it. All right, I have a motion to deny. Do I have a second? Second by Commissioner Miller. Any discussion on this motion? All those in favor of the motion to deny, please raise your right hand. All those against, and the motion carries. All righty.